Hello everyone, welcome to LoRaWAN series. My name is Hariharma. In this video, we'll look into exciting LoRa module RYLR998 from React Technology. We'll look into what are the specifications of RYLR998 and then perform a demo on how to configure or set up the RYLR998 using AT commands. At the end of the video, you'll also see how to send and receive messages between two LoRa modules of RYLR998 using AT commands in Arduino IDE. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. Before we start, some of you might have some doubts on what exactly is LoRa and LoRaWAN. So let's discuss some basics on it today. Let's look into what is LoRaWAN. LoRaWAN is the short form of Long Range Wide Area Network. LoRaWAN is a popular LPWAN protocol known for its long range capabilities and low power consumption. It operates in the unlicensed ISM band, which means industrial, scientific and medical bands. It is managed by LoRa Alliance, an open non-profit association of members that collaboratively works on the specification. Now let's look into the stack. So LoRa represents the physical layer of the LoRaWAN network and LoRaWAN represents the MAC layer of the LoRaWAN network. And in the MAC layer, you can see class A, B and C. Class A is the lowest power, which means it will talk before listening. And B is to listen at a specific time and data will be received only at a certain time intervals. But class C is a listen continuously and it is lowest latency and more power is used. It is used when OTA updates are needed and mains powered and not battery powered. Now let's look into the LoRaWAN network architecture. On the left hand side you can see device and that device is able to communicate to application server via gateway and from gateway it is going to the network server and network server is one that is managing the network gateways, end devices, applications and users. And we have application server that handles all the application layer payloads from end devices. And we also have joint server which manages the joint flow of the devices such as authentication, adding devices to the network, management of keys etc. Now let's look into the LoRaWAN applications. So these are various applications that are possible with LoRaWAN. Now let's look into RYLR998 that is LoRa module. The RYLR998 is 868-915 MHz LoRa antenna transceiver module. It is powered by Nuvoton MCU and Semtech LoRa engine. It has smart receiving power saving mode. It has high sensitivity and it can be easily controlled by AT commands. It also has a built-in antenna. It has a command support for data encryption. Let's look into the important specifications that is the VDD power supply it can handle is 3.3 typically and the RF output power range is max 22 dBm and RF input level is 10 dBm. Frequency range that is allowed for this is minimum 820 maximum 960 and the baud rate it has typical is 115200. Now let's get into the demo. For this demo, we'll be using two RYLR998 modules. One will act as a transmitter and another as a receiver. To work with AT commands, we would need a USB to TTL converter to connect with our LoRa module. So I'm using CP2102 USB to TTL converter. So you can use the wiring diagram shown below to connect between them. I have made the connections for both RYLR998 modules which acts as transmitter and receiver. So I'll connect them to the USB. Now I have connected. Let me check the device manager. So inside the device manager, you can see I have connected two which are transmitter and receiver which has CP2102 as a driver. So here the caution symbol is shown which means that the driver is not properly installed. 
For that, I need to download the driver. So you can head to the Silicon Labs and find. So I'll provide the link here in the description so that you can download the drivers. So this is the universal Windows driver that you need to download. So once that is downloaded, I will try to install that. After downloading the driver, I have extracted it and I will click on here and I'll click on update driver. So browse from my computer and I'll browse to that downloads and this is the folder and click on OK and click on next. It will automatically install the required drivers and we can close this and we can see this is working fine because the caution symbol has gone and com port is assigned. Next thing again the same for another module and they automatically it has selected the same folder and click on next and it is also installed and we can see com4 this com4 and this is com5 both has been given to that which means that we have successfully set up the drivers properly next thing we need to do is open the arduino ide now once you have opened arduino ide you need to select board you can and also select the com port i need to select arduino uno and com port 4 so once i have selected that i'll open the serial monitor and i need to select both nl and cr and 115200 as baud rate and type 80 so immediately i can get 80 command as ok which means that i am able to communicate with my rylr998 so once this is done i can check 80 plus address question mark it will say zero so we need to uh, give a, give some address to this so 80 plus address is equal to 1 so first one i'll give 1 and again if i query 80 plus address question mark it will give me 1 which means it has been set next i need to give a network id so both the uh, transmitter and receiver should be having same network id so i'll use 5 here If I query, it is going to give me 18. So I'll set it as 80 plus network ID equal to 5. So next thing is I need to set up the band. The band for MDI is 865 megahertz. So for that, the command is 80 plus BAND equal to 865 and we need it will follow by six zeros so now we can see the 80 band is set so now we understand that the transmitter has been set up properly the second thing i need to do is open another sketch for setting up the receiver so the receiver has to be properly set with the com port 5 Again, I'll use Arduino Uno and COM port 5. Click on OK and open the serial monitor. So these are properly set. Now let's try 80 commands and it has given OK, which means that COM port 5 is working and we need to set up that. So we can give 80 plus address is equal to 2. 80 plus ADD RESS is equal to 2. Yeah, so previously the spelling was wrong, so that's why it has given error. And now I can use 80 plus network is equal to 5. Now it is OK. Next, we need to set up the frequency band, 80 plus band is equal to 865, 000 and 000. Now we have both transmitter and receiver properly set. Here we can see COM4 and COM5. So here we can 
see this is a transmitter and this is receiver so now we can try to send the messages com4 is the one address so we need to send as two so let let me send 80 plus SCND is equal to 2 comma 3 comma IOP. So immediately the second address that is 2 is already received the IOT. Now I will try to send from this receiver to transmitter also as a reverse because this is a transceiver module we can do the reverse as, as is. So I can do this as a receiver and this as a transmitter. So I can use 80 plus send is equal to 1 as an address and 8 as an address uh, the number of bytes and frontier. So immediately it has received frontier. By this you might have understood how easy it is to transmit and receive messages using RYLR998 modules and with using just Arduino IDE as a serial monitor to send 80 commands and easily demonstrate the LoRa communication. In the upcoming video, we'll look into how to send and receive LoRa messages using Arduino Uno and ESP8266 using program. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, please type helpful in the comment section below. Your support means a lot to us and help us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next interesting video.